This is the Trauma Assessment Skills video for the UCLA Center for Pre-Hospital Care. This video will focus on the trauma assessment. When entering the scene, the EMT will ensure their person, partner, and patient are safe. Scan the environment for any hazards, looking for downed power lines, inclement weather, or other scene hazards. I see one patient at this time who appears to be suffering from a mechanism of injury due to an axe throwing incident. I recognize the need for additional resources and request for ALS support. Partner takes inline spinal immobilization. I see a 40 year old male lying on the floor of an axe shop holding his chest. I see a potential life threat on the chest and will expose. I see an open chest wound and am applying a chest seal to prevent attention pneumothorax. The patient's eyes are tracking my movement and the patient appears to be alert. Hi sir, can you tell me your name? Mark. Mark, can you tell me where you are right now? In an axe throw in place. And what year is it? 2023. And briefly, what happened today? I got hit in the chest with an axe. My patient is alert and oriented times four, and I know because my patient is speaking to me that his airway is open and patent. His breathing is rapid and shallow. Lung sounds are clear, equal, and bilateral. Circulation is fast, weak, and regular, and skin signs are cool, pale, and diaphoretic. So I do believe that my patient is in shock at this time and will complete the assessment in the back of the ambulance. Partner, can you please get us a set of vitals? Yes. Pulse, 110 beats per minute. Respiration, 26. Blood pressure, 96 over 64. Pupils, equal, round, reactive to light. Lungs are clear, equal, bilaterally. ANO times four. Pulse ox, 98% on 15 liters. Glucose, 109. Skin is pale, cool, and diaphoretic. Glasgow Coma Scale, 15. The patient is conscious, so I will be able to obtain a sample OPQRST en route. Treatment is going to include monitoring the wound, high flow oxygen, warm blanket, and discontinued stabilization of the neck as SMR is not indicated in penetrating trauma. So we will reassess every five minutes.